Okay, so welcome back to some more Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game, and today we are going to be continuing our mod series in this game, similar to what we've been doing with MXGP Pro and whatnot, and the three bike and rider mods today that we're going to look at were three that really interested me, and I believe, well, I know Leone291 is the one responsible for making these super sick mods, but uh, I, don't, I don't remember, I'll have to go back and check, sometimes he collaborates with Pay2021, so... If that's the case, check the description if you're on PC and want to know how to get these. It's in the description, the Facebook page to Leone and Pay2021 if he was involved with doing this as well. So, the first mod here we're going to check out is Ryan Villapoto. Now, typically he has, what he usually does is he'll make this mod for like Supercross the game and then he'll make the same mod for... MXGP Pro. So if you only have one version, or not one version, but only one, if you only have MXGP Pro, I guess, then you can get the same mod. And if you just have Supercross the game, you can get the same mod. You know what I mean? So yeah, he usually does the same mod for both games. And he usually does a couple versions. He also has a Monster Energy Kawasaki version of Ryan Villapoto 2, which is pretty awesome. And this one, uh, I don't know if I mentioned that already. If you could tell at the beginning, it kind of resembled Cooper Webb because the mod itself is placed over Cooper Webb. So this mod, I really like it when he does that because it's super easy for somebody that just got the game, okay? So it takes a while to grind out credits. It's not that bad in this game, but it still can be a grind if you're trying to get mods and stuff right away because you still have to buy, a bunch of the time you'll have to buy the, the bike and the graphics kit and the gear set and all that stuff that he has the mod over which can rack up a lot because I believe a bike in the game is like 200,000 credits. Now you get a bunch of credits too, even without the multiplier, but it still takes a while to grind out. This mod was actually placed over Cooper Webb, which is why it looks like Cooper Webb when he doesn't have his helmet on. And it just makes it really easy. I believe the Chad Reed and James Stewart mod was the same way where it was the skin, or not James Stewart, just the Chad Reed mod was placed over one of the pro riders in MXGP Pro, so it didn't actually cost anything, and it was really easy to get, and yeah, that's kind of the same way it is here. Also, this track is a custom track on PC. I don't remember the name. I think it was Test Facility, and the next two tracks we test out are custom tracks as well, and those are both, like, those are both tracks that uh, were done by the same person, I believe. He's got, like, five or six different tracks in his mini uh, series, I guess, of tracks, so... Yeah, custom track here, test facility, I believe, and wanted to check out Ryan Villapoto. Then we'll switch over to, I think it's Ricky Carmichael next. And that one was probably my favorite one. The Eli Tomek one is at the end, and I can kind of talk about that a, a bit and what he was trying to go for with the, the Tomek mod because it's the the number one. So, yeah, it's not super cost. It's the, the Nationals. But the Ricky Carmichael Soaring Edge... Uh, I don't remember everything that was with it. That mod is super sick. It's super sick, and yeah, we're going to jump into that here in just a second. But this was the first one I wanted to see and show you, which was Ryan Villapoto. Okay, so this is the Ricky Carmichael Bike and Rider mod, and this thing is wicked awesome. This thing is sick, man. It looks so good. Now, the only thing, and it's like, I don't really know how else you would do it, is you can kind of see on the red number four on the back of his jersey, it's actually number seven, and I kind of tried to blend it, and I believe Leone291 does the same thing, and he does it better than me, but it you still had to have the number on the back of it, which is why when he just puts the mod over, like, Cooper Webb, the pro rider with Villapoto, it works so well. Now, you can't see it, I mean, especially when you're playing, you're never going to see it, but uh, it is there, and it, it doesn't bother me, but you do have to... So if you have several mods like we did this and Tomac, you, uh, I had to kind of finagle it around to fit both of them and then change the color. So each time you have to do that. Same as your name. What I did was I put... What did I put? I think I put the, the period as my name on my jersey and then matched it to the color so you can't see it in the Carmichael part. And like I said, you can't see it through his number here, but uh, it is there. So this bike is, it was 200,000 credits, I think, to buy the bike. 
and then a ton of credits to buy all the gears so the gear isn't exactly the same as Leone had it he had different fox boots and he had a different fox helmet I think I'm trying to remember I think he had the black boots and then he had some kind of green and black helmet so it's not identical to the way he had it but the the jersey and the pants are the same and I'm not sure maybe the goggles are and obviously the the graphics kit is so yeah the only other thing that is actually upgraded on Carmichael's bike is the exhaust I just didn't I mean I played for hours I mean we're talking hours just to get this done and it's not like it was a pain to do because I like the game still but it was a pain because I just got the game and I don't have all those credits and I don't have the credits multiplier and my game glitched out on PlayStation when I got it I have like a billion credits and I have no idea how that happened it's just like I got a billion credits after doing a few races some kind of some kind of credits glitch happened and I know it happened to like Cubs fan and I think Doja might have got it too so I know a few people that had the same thing happen and uh, that just has not happened here now this is I quickly do want to mention before I forget that this track is one of the tracks that was done by uh, there was like five of them it's like monster monster five monster redo monster He's done a bunch of them, and they're super simple, short tracks, but I really enjoyed playing on these, and uh, I also chose to race against the AF for these because, hey, it's an easy way to get credits since we're doing the race anyways, and I wanted to record some gameplay of the mod. It just worked out really well to to race the AI and rack up some credits for the next time we check out another mod in the game, and <clears throat> I mean, eventually I'll have all the bike spots, so all I'll have to buy is finish upgrading the bike and buying the graphics kit and the gear set but that stuff is expensive so yeah here's Ricky Carmichael the sweetest mod of the day I think next we're gonna be checking out Tomac so we're gonna finish this lap and then we will switch over to the next one Okay, so here is the final mod that we're going to be checking out today. This is the Eli Tomac National Lucas Oil Champion model, I guess, version, replica, and it is done just as good as anything else he's done. I'm just saying that the Carmichael one was my favorite because I'm just a big Carmichael fan, but this thing was done fantastic. Uh, I will mention, same thing with Carmichael, that the numbers have to be hidden. You can kind of see in the bottom right corner the front number plate. I'm actually pointing. Hey, I'm pointing. I'm pointing at the screen. You can see this. Uh, bottom right hand corner you can see where there was like a, a little black you can see the top of the black number seven that we were using it doesn't hide perfectly but it's something that you really wouldn't notice unless you're looking for it the side number plates hide really good on this one that you can basically just move them off the number plate so wasn't a problem and I'd say the number one and the Tomac uh, having to have a, a name and number in the game blended just about as good as it did with with uh, Carmichael so yeah, I don't think it's a problem, and it's just really cool. It's, it's like he has so many different versions of Tomac. He probably has as many Tomac mods as anything else. He has the Motocross Destinations. He has the a regular Tomac mod. He has the Monster Cup uh, Tomac mod. He has this mod. He has the Skeleton Gear Tomac mod. He has the Geico Honda mod we checked out for... MXGP Pro, which by the way, if you have Supercross the game and not Pro, you can now get the Geico Honda Tomac in Supercross the game. I believe he just switched that over a few days ago. So yeah, this is, it's just really cool. It's different. And I think it's fun checking out these different mods. It's just something, you know, even if it's not practical, it's just really cool to see him do these things like this and then add his own twist to it sometimes. But uh, yeah, that's the, the Tomac mod. It's just like the Carmichael bike where I bought the graphics kit, bought the gear set, and only upgraded the exhaust now this gear set is identical to what leone 291 was using i actually grabbed the entire gear set of the same thing that he was using when he was showing it off so yeah it's it's identical to how he had it but the bike's not fully upgraded and this track before i forget before the video ends this track was another one of the tracks it's uh done by the same person that did the track we used Carmichael at and he has a bunch of them I encourage you to check it out if it's on PC I encourage you to check all these mods out go show Leone 291 some love on his Facebook page he does great work and let me know in the comments if there's something you specific you want to see I can check and see if he's done it or you can suggest it to him and maybe he'll try and do it if he feels like it but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately and until the next video take it easy